You know, I had some people ask me, why you want to do a Dallas Cowboy history vlog, history chat, history discussion? Well, there's a lot of Dallas Cowboy fans out there, especially younger ones, that don't fully know the history of the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm going to need a lot of y'all to help out too. Leave comments. Leave nuggets. And we're going to discuss exactly how the Dallas Cowboys became the Dallas Cowboys. That's important. I heard a conversation on uh, television and the guy kept saying they won their first Super Bowl in 92. Their first Super Bowl in 92. Well, that's a slap in my face. I'm an old school Dallas Cowboy fan. And I remember sitting down watching Super Bowl 12 back in 1977. So, no, <laughs> no, there were Super Bowls before 1992. But I think that's lost on a lot of people because it's a long history. You know, how do we get to Troy Aikman? How do we get to Emmitt Smith? How do we get to Michael Irvin? There were people that blazed the path before them. And I think they should get recognized. And I think if you're going to know and you're going to celebrate the history of anything, you need the full history. You need the truth. You need the unfettered truth. I heard on another station or network that Jerry Jones named the Dallas Cowboys as though he's the only owner the Dallas Cowboys never had, ever had. Now, come on, man. Now, is he the most dominant owner they ever had? Yeah, he is. In fact, he might be one of the most dominant owners in NFL history. But no, the Dallas Cowboys was, were the Dallas Cowboys before Jerry Jones bought them. They were America's team before he bought them. They were Super Bowl champions before he bought them. And they were established before he bought them. And I don't think that should be lost on, on anyone. So it's important that we celebrate the history and we relate it to what's happening now. Of course, we're going to do some, we're going to talk about some NFL. We're going to talk about, you know, some NFL history too. And we're going to relate it to the Cowboys as much as possible because it's all about the Dallas Cowboys. So that's just a layout of what we're going to do here. We're going to have some fun. We're going to do some raffles. We're going to do some trivia. Coming up with a plan to do some trivia somehow and maybe give away some prizes. Because I want us all, all us Cowboy fans, to understand the full effect of the Dallas Cowboys. From the rooter to the tutor. What makes them who they are and what make us fans the way we are. A lot of Cowboy fans get a bad rap, but many of us have been around for a long time. We've been around for decades. We lived and died by this team. I was a Dallas Cowboy fan at the age of four. And anyone can tell you I've been a fan forever. I've been a fan as a little boy. I didn't care about anything else. Growing up in Dallas, playing out on the street, playing football, catch the ball. Catch the ball, tippy toe on the sideline, say, Drew, Drew. We pretend to be Drew. Someone else will pretend to be Roger. Those are great memories. Those are who we are. Cowboy fans, stand up. 